I always ask this, who wants to go first? You and me, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do always ask it. Why We're going to have to start remembering who did it like who I'm started like, last time. Who wants to start this year then? <laughs> BBB Army, welcome back to our channel, BBB Army Hearts to Hearts. I am Ruth. And I'm Nicole. And with us, we have a wonderful fan here, Jocelyn. Hi. BBB Army. <laughs> welcome back, Jocelyn. Yes, Jocelyn has been on our channel before. I think, yeah, you came on when we did the whole BBB month thing on our channel. Yeah. You were there with Kahoot. You were there for Knives and Pens. The, the contour drawing. Right, contour drawing. I was about to say, the drawing. Yeah. I know there was like one more else. I'm like, I can't remember which other ones I were there. Just thank you for being like an awesome supporter. Like that is so yeah. awesome. Yeah, thank dope. you. It was definitely <laughs> fun to have you for all those videos. So again, just thank you so much for coming on for that. And just, we're excited to have you back on to share your BBB story with us in the BBB Army. Yes, BBB Army, we are back with BBB fan <laughs> stories. It is been a minute it's been a bit and we will soon very soon we are close to opening the forms back up you guys we're like so we're so close i have a feeling either february or march we will open that link again to to get your name on those forms i want to say either next month or the end of march we have a hunch that we'll open those films i mean films forms films. again so. <laughs> <laughs> but we are super excited <laughs> to get the BBB fan stories uh, rolling again here. We always enjoy it. And we know the BBB army also, also enjoys it. And obviously, Chris Beersack too enjoys it too. So I know we enjoy it. We definitely yeah. there's we've been doing a lot. I honestly forgot how many we yeah. have done, honestly. So I have to take a look of seeing how much we've done so far. So yeah, we're going to have really to. Yeah, I mean, our first couple of ones that we first did, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, we enjoyed it, but that's when we're like, how do we do this? What questions do we ask? So, I know, we're like, how can we get more efficient at this? Know, I mean, right? it's so, easier on you fans. Work in progress, but I think we got a system down, so. We cracked the case. We have the list of questions that we've been asking all fans, so I think we are ready to get dive into the questions. Our very first question, Jocelyn, is how did you discover Black Veil Brides? So I actually discovered it by my ex-best friend. I think we were walking back from sand pits because we were just having fun there and she started playing it. I'm like, at first I was like, eh, they're all right. But as when I got home, like I started digging more into it. And then I just ever since then, I kind of just really fell in love with them. And I just kind of been there since. So we're going on like three years, almost three years. Oh. <laughs> because you see, I didn't have sibling. Well, I mean, I have siblings, but I didn't have the siblings to introduce me to music because my brothers are, were, are 10, 15 years older than me. Uh, so I didn't have anybody to like show me music. It was like either friends or just me in general. So I never had that. Besides when Black Bear Bride started, I was born. So can you recall the very like first song that you heard by them that your ex friend was playing? I think it was Scarlet Cross. <laughs> nice <laughs> that was not what i was expecting like a song from we stitches wounds or something <laughs> i mean she's been a fan for three years so i mean she's rough i know the all. army so <laughs> girl cross not a bad choice i'm glad you were able to sit down and listen to them I'm like okay black phil brights this is who you are so when you went home that night though and you said you started looking them up more what like, yeah. do you remember what song you clicked on that was kind of kind of gave you that moment of wow <laughs> so at first it was scarlet cross because like i started really liking them but then you know like mm -hmm. how when youtube it they, they just like keep playing yep. wormhole I, I, yeah i was just playing with my cat and they just kept playing and i nice. just kind of got used to it like the type of deal but yeah just kept vibing to it vibing. yeah <laughs> I guess that leads us on to our next question is with all the songs that Black River Brides have written and produced, which one is your favorite song? I know it's a toughy one, but do you have one? That's a really hard one because Maybe I top don't three like... if it helps. <laughs> okay, so Save Your Two, that mm -hmm. one hits home. Wake up, just that one. It's my little brother ruined that one for me. Rebel Love Song and probably Wretched and Divine. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. I need to be basic, but. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. Hard. All great choices. 
Yeah, all great. Yeah. That, that's the question to ask a fan. Like, oh, what's your favorite Black Phillip Bride song? You can't ask me that. They're all amazing. So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's too difficult. All their songs are fantastic. They I really- like that you have mentioned a song from Vale, Wake Up, because I think from, if I can recall, Nicole, so far all the fans that we've had really don't pick songs from Vale, the album. So I like it. Just mm-hmm. my little brother ruined Wake Up for me because... <laughs> so. When I I'm getting my little brother into them, like my little brother will ask and ask, and he goes, I go, who's this? He goes, Andy's hot. I was like, <laughs> look what I started. Wait, how old is your little brother? He's gonna be seven this week. Oh, but he started listening to the money was five. <laughs> well done. Yes, I'm well done. I'm yeah. proud of Good myself. Sibling. Good sibling, right there. Gold. I'm also getting my boyfriend into them too. Another gold star for you. Yes. I'm about to say, earning brownie points there. Huge brownie points. <laughs> All right. So here we go. We got your top three. What would you say your favorite album, album. by Black Phil Bright? That's a really hard one. Probably Phantom Tomorrow <laughs> because that is what got me into them. Fair. Really, because that's what got me into them. So like kind of the only option I can go with was just like the I mean like yeah. history with that one. I get that's like um, it was like your first love of BBB that introduced you to like the world yeah. of BBB. so like that makes sense yeah though. yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> well and, you know honestly though I feel like a, a, for a lot of fans that is kind of how it happens for, for them. yeah yeah <laughs> you know it's usually like the very first song that they heard off of whatever album for, for the most part so I mean and the Phantom Tomorrow is an absolute banger yeah. from Black Veil Bride so I can understand why it would be your favorite yeah mm-hmm. definitely because like all the other albums like Knives and Pens came out when I was five, so it's it would be weird to have me listening to uh, in 2011, a five year old listening to it in 2011. I mean, your brother is on the way. I mean, look at your brother. Like, oh, it's well, like it's your brother. It's like it's not impossible. <laughs> it's 2023. Science has changed. <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> Nicole, you cannot forget your signature question when it comes to this. Oh. Yes. So Jocelyn, I'm going to have to apologize to you here. There is one question that we just have not put on the question sheet. We, you know, it's one of those things we have to update it, but we just like keep forgetting. I must ask you because I ask everyone, do you prefer the original album, We Stitch These Wounds or the remake, Restitch These Wounds? We Stitch, their first one. Ooh, OG. But I, I just feel like Restitch doesn't have like everything that We Stitch has. I mean, Mortish, the Mortician's Daughter, the the um, piano version, I love it because I'm a, I'm a band nerd. But I just feel like We Stitch just has like everything because that's the how they started. Very interesting. It's just like that's kind of like how I think of it because I yeah. I barely listen to Restitch, but whenever I'm in the car with my mom, like I compare like which one do you like better? She goes, I like the original, like the first one better. Well and I think we even set this with another fan, uh Caitlin, the rawness when it came to the first album. This is how they first started Andy's voice. I mean obviously he was yeah. young and the amount of money that they had to make it. And again, it comes to the factor of the rawness of yeah. making up the album. Mm-hmm. So. Which gives it like a huge bonus because that was their first ever album. That was like their trial and error type yeah. deal. So that's kind of why it's better because it is their start. That's mm-hmm. how they basically got famous mm-hmm. was because of that album. Not wrong there. Couldn't say it better. <laughs> so I'm actually intrigued of what your thoughts are because as you mentioned, your favorite album happens to be The Phantom Tomorrow. So what are your yeah. thoughts on this beautiful Phantom Tomorrow album? I really like it. It's something that just kind of gets me, like with the storyline and everything. Plus it just kind of how everything played out was with The Phantom Tomorrow. So that just kind of gives everything a bonus because that's how I got into them. That's how just everything. That's how I got a couple people into it. And it's just an overall good album album because it really showed that they changed from Veil, vale, I think it was Veil, vale, mm-hmm. to Phantom Tomorrow. It just kind of shows how they matured as a band too. Because ever since Lonnie joined, you know, I noticed a huge twist and everything. And I really do like it. If you guys notice that, but ever since Lonnie oh, enjoyed, we oh, have. Heavy, yes. like, we have. We have listened to obviously all their albums with Bruno 
with his works in it but when we heard phantom tomorrow even just the vengeance with the ep with lonnie yeah. we're like this is a totally different energy mm-hmm. yeah and that's really what gets me too because it's like if you if i'm not in like heavy metal tech day there's that i can still listen to them even though i'm not in that type of mood at the moment well and i like how you said just with the storytelling in general because we all know that when black for brides came out with Wretched and Divine being a concept album, once again, a storytelling, they did such a phenomenal job. And then now coming out with their second uh, concept album, I they really outdid themselves. And this yeah. one I feel too, which I kind of want to ask you, since you do like the storytelling of it, were you at all able to, or if not, are you wanting to look into their comic book, The Phantom Tomorrow? Do you have any of their like- comic books, actually? No, I I don't got the money. I need money. <laughs> it's not worth the waiting game, FYI. <laughs> I'm only 16. You know, nobody hires 16 year olds. That's why we're waiting for co op and then knowing me, I'm going to blow my money out on them. <laughs> knowing me, I down the line, I will want to get them. I mm-hmm. just haven't been able to because I don't got the money for it. No, and that's that's totally fair. I just I feel like as you said, the storytelling, I feel like the comic yeah. book is something that you would definitely want to dive yeah, into. There is a lot more yeah. details in the first comic and the second one that most fans recently just received. Not petty over here. <laughs> <laughs> I have to save my pettiness for next week. So yeah. <laughs> I was about to say channel that inner I, ha- I, have to. I have to <laughs> but if down the line when you do get the comic books all six of them hopefully that um I really hope you do enjoy the storyline because like we said um all the, the comic one and two definitely give more depth of the characters Blackbird and Nine and even Scarlet and I'm just like everything about that whole universe they have yeah. created so um on still with the Phantom tomorrow now we have to know we obviously know that the very first song you heard was Scarlet Cross which kind of makes me curious what is your favorite song from the Phantom Tomorrow and if you can't pick one you can do a top three uh, that's what I'm doing a top three okay um, first everyone one, does <laughs> first one is um Shadows Rise Scarlet Cross and Born Again mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I love that you said Shadows Rise <laughs> I knew as soon as you said I, that I'm like, Nicole's gonna approve hard <laughs> yes I I do like I said band nerd in me the violin really does it for me because mm-hmm. I also do play flute so like everything violin does I can do it on flute too that, wow damn so I play okay over 16 instruments flute master over here wait how many <laughs> over 16 holy crap wow the dedication you have and the patience I know. Kudos to you. Honestly, oh, I, I just have, pick them up and I can play. I have no patience or skills <laughs> when it comes to anything musical. I, I appreciate I it. I just, I just, I just don't have the patience. <laughs> I have patience for art and visual painting stuff, not the musical, beautiful arts. I love, appreciate it. <laughs> I'm, I'm right there with you, Ruth. I <laughs> cannot play an instrument to save my life. <laughs> can you play any BVB songs on your instruments? I did yeah. Overture with Cassidy. I was just going to mention that you did the, you did a collaboration with her and Bellamine for the overture on her channel, which was, by the way, I think Nicole froze. Okay. You froze. Now you're back. (laughs) I'm back. Um, um, Yeah. I I watched that video and it was really just amazing to see all three of you and your skills do overture from Wretched and Divine. Like I know Cassidy expressed how much editing she had to do for that video, but it all came together. are so talented when it comes to the flute like I was just like this is amazing <laughs> well yeah because you Believe guys did not, that over a zoom call right uh no so we they, all did a video of it and we sent it to her they did a oh my video. god they did sex- you yeah. all had to play it's like acapella you all were doing your yeah. own little parts whole yeah. crap have you not seen the video Nicole? I honestly I so here's the thing I rem- I think I remember seeing the post and I saved it and then you know me I get distracted and I completely forgot so send me the link Jocelyn send it to me through Instagram please I want to check this out link will be in the description below too believe it or not that was the first time I actually ever played my flute in front of people in so long because I ended up actually giving all that up because I just it's probably for like the experience story type question Mm -hmm. that you guys have 
Oh yeah, we'll get there then. <laughs> what has been your favorite memory with BBB? This can be anything through concerts, VIP, or even something online. <laughs> My 16th birthday. So coincidentally, they were playing on my birthday last year and in Portland, Maine. So I actually went to that concert. A whole bunch of stuff went down in that concert. So Lilith actually screamed happy birthday to me on stage. She handed me her her set list and uh, her guitarist handed me their pick. That's amazing. And then, and then with Ice Nine Kills, my teacher, my one of my old teachers is actually related to one of the members of Ice Nine Kills. So I ended up getting a signed shirt by them. And I Whoa. also got a set list and a pick. Okay, hi. <laughs> <laughs> and then when Black Phil Brides came on, I had a, so I made a sign on my phone that said it was my 16th birthday. And then like I had the crown and sash and everything. And Andy Aww. like did a thumbs up to me like that. And then, um, I think it was Jinx, like, mouthed happy birthday to me. And then when Jake came over, too, he did the same thing. Oh. And then I also, from that concert, I also, I got a, Jinx handed me his pick, which I have it at home still. And then I ended up buying CeCe's stage plate stick. And that's nice. also hung up, too. Wow, that sounds like a fantastic memory. Yeah. Especially then, for the age of 16, girl. 16 birthday wow. memories amazing birthday i have everything basically hung up i have my rose from chris because he knelt down and handed it handed it to me i have that encased in resin and i have everything else just hung up you have chris's rose you are one of the few lucky ones to get those roses yeah i mean i can send you the i actually somebody was there and he like videoed the entire concert and i kind of have the video of chris kneeling down and handing it to me talk you about a sweet 16 literally screaming everything loud that Ah, oh, that is a gift sweet 16 birthday for sure. Yeah. I gave up everything for the concert and it was so worth it. Yes. Proud of you. I'm very yes. proud of you. All right. So this next question that we have for you, um, we understand that this can be a very deep question. So please feel free to take your time on it. Don't feel rushed at all. But how has Black Veil Brides impacted your life? Really good, tremendously. So when I got into them, I was really happy in my life, but the January of the following year, that's when my life completely de went decreased for a year and a half as I started dating somebody. And the only way I stayed alive basically was because of Black Bill Brides and Andy. Just all of that was a real turn on me. I ended up actually getting more depressed. My depression came out more. My own thoughts came out more and everything. And it was a whole thing. But, you know, there's still a big part of my life, even though I'm still turning everything around better. But listening to the music really has helped me stay alive and stuff because they it, it's worth it. You know, their music really does tell me that it is worth it, even though it, you're going through the toughest of times. Because for my ex, I gave up playing my flute because I used to put it out on YouTube. Ever since I got to this new school, I can't do band anymore because my school doesn't have band. So I basically gave up everything because of him. But that opportunity with Cassidy really did bring back that spark in me. And I started more and I play more. I just haven't gotten the courage to post it more just because of the anxiety and everything. And I ended up, I actually ended up making a sweater from them, by them, by, well, can I have this sweater, Tyler? So, because my shop, we have vinyl and stuff. So I ended up making it. It's a little upside down and a little messed up, but I made that. And then the sleeves say, Black Bill Brides with the Scarlet Cross on the <clears throat> chest. But I made all of this in my shop and this really gave me, you know, the opportunity to keep going because I I, th I think I wore it too to my concert and like they really liked it because people, a lot of people liked it because the effort that I put into it. So it yeah. just really showed and just like the army in general like really helps keep going even though everything is hard there's a lot more <laughs> again feel free to share as much as you want no pressure whatsoever. because <laughs> yeah. i know some of the things get really touchy for some people and it's like a trigger warning a trigger warning um <laughs> black bill brides actually helped me stop self-harming too because i self-harm i have struggled with self-harming 
for over, over like almost three years now because of my ex wanting to take my life because of the pain and the anxiety. Andy's song, Put the Gun Down, really brings me out. Um, Savior too with uh, More Than All My Scars, that really shows me that just because I have scars, that's basically just my battle wounds. And all the messages that Andy and the band has said in interviews just really show me, just say like, just keep going, you know, because if I died almost two, two years ago, I would not have gotten the opportunity to basically see them live. I would not have been able to get everything that I have from them. Cause I also, I even got a signed shirt from Jake from part three. And I, he even wrote the lyrics from Savior 2 on the shirt because that's just how much it means to me. So like once I'm able to, I want to get a tattoo that has something to do with it because of how much they've basically helped with my own personal life and my own sadness and mental, my mental illnesses. Thank you for sharing. I know <laughs> those subjects can be touching, but thank you yeah. for sharing. First off, I just want to say, your ex, first of all, I'm sorry, f- Kim, f- kiss, f- your ex, f- your ex, f- Kim, f- you, f- Kim. Okay. you should see my boyfriend's big ass smile right now. Good, he- because your f- ex boyfriend, f- Kim, I'm sorry for him, like in Blackbird to take that light away from you. No, 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 to take things away that you love. That's not f-ing love. Sorry, I'm kind of tripping yeah. here because my ex did the same thing to me, but yeah. I'm glad that Black Phil Brides was there for you to tell you, like, you know, don't, um, Blackbird again, sorry, hold on to hope, <laughs> take back your soul, that you have things, there's a light in you, things that you love doing and stuff that they were, they were there for you to, first of all, help you during your down days and comfort yeah. you with the warm hug and their words and messages. And just to show you, like, you know, in life, you meet toxic people, it's time to cut those out to be who yeah. you are, do not be afraid who you are, do the things that you f- and love and I'm passionate and I'm so happy that you did that <laughs> collaboration with Cassidy for you to play yeah. your flute and I will ha- I'm gonna say this again watching that video watching you and Cassidy and Bellamy yeah. all play together was beautiful honestly <laughs> and I'm happy that you were brave and did your f- skills on that flute with them because you are very talented <laughs> thank you <laughs> that was like a really eye-opener to me that I I can do it you know I base I deleted everything off my YouTube channel when I when I was with him yeah. and little punk over there is trying to get me to get do everything again but it's because of the guilt that I have even though he's my ex is gone I broke up with him and everything and he's nowhere to be found at this moment and it's like the guilt that if I start back up what's gonna happen no and I understand. I do. I completely understand that guilt because I've been, I dealt with that too. And it's hard. I it, I know yeah. it sucks. It's hard. My best advice for you is baby steps. Yes. Honestly, baby steps. Like with you did the collaboration with Cassidy's baby steps. And I know baby steps is a very huge achievement for us, but you know, I would say baby steps to, for you to yeah. uh, put out your skills in your flutes, because I think, especially in the BBB army, we would love to hear it. So, because yeah, I also play clarinet too, and I've been practicing. We don't have. I actually ended up printing. We don't have to dance out. I know how to play it. It's just the fact of picking up my clarinet. <laughs> because I can't listen and I can't listen and transcribe it. So there's like a website that has so much stuff, and I that's how I get all my music and stuff. I'm not like Cassidy who can listen to it and <laughs> do it. I I just I can't. That's not my skill. Hey, it's okay. But the fact that again, you told us you were able to play like what sixteen instruments and stuff. 16. And Holy shit. I know, and just like I could do it. Meh, I could do. I could play that. I could play that. I could play that. I mean, that <laughs> microphone is very talented, and like not a lot of people can do that. So that is yeah. definitely mm-hmm. a skill that you have and a talent that you have. Yeah. I I'm very glad that you're still here. And I'm also glad that you were able to get out of that toxic relationship. And it makes me happy to know that you're with someone now who loves and appreciates you for you and treats you the way that you deserve to be treated. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh, and I good just boyfriend. I don't know your name, Come back yeah. there, but good boyfriend, Tyler. Okay. Tyler. Tyler. Amazing boyfriend. <laughs>
Hi. <laughs> Hello, amazing yeah. boyfriend. Amazing boyfriend. <laughs> but I'm really glad that Cassidy could also help shine a light into your life as well and give you that love and that passion that you had for picking up an instrument again. Okay, so I know you mentioned this too. As of right now, you don't have any Black Bob Rides tattoos, right? No, that's illegal here. <laughs> Wait, oh, what? How old do you have to be? So, so in Massachusetts, you need to be 18 to get a tattoo. Because if you're 16, even with parent consent, they're not going to do it. But you can get piercings and stuff. It's just the tattoos. That does not compute in my head, but okay. <laughs> That's bizarre, it's, yeah. Well, I'm assuming there is one down in the future then, right? Oh, yeah. And you were mentioning the Save Your Two lyrics? Yeah. After I get my ro- my tulips, then I'm going to get something like that. But my right now, my main goal is tulips. Aww. with mm-hmm. um for my my grandmother who passed away when I was really little but she was my best friend so I want to get tulips and stuff so well we are definitely looking forward to seeing that black of rights tattoo down the road mm-hmm. for sure mm-hmm. yeah. we will require photos oh yes we love seeing photos <laughs> black Bell bride concerts we know that you obviously attended the trinity of territory and had the utmost amazing sweet 16 like yeah I swear was that like two or like three the one you attended yeah. First one. Oh, leg one. Leg okay. one. Got oh, it. okay. Okay. But so, but then I could have sworn you said that you yeah. did attend Trinity of Terror part three, correct? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then I so, went to the in between tour. That was actually my first ever concert. So really? I've only been to three, and all three of them were with Black Bill Brands. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Did you do VIP for the in between tour? I didn't, we, because we didn't have the funding for it, but I did, I was like, front basically front row mm-hmm. i Good. didn't because it was like a, it was hundred dollars so two hundred dollars for two people oh it's just yeah. we didn't have the money for it so it's fair no, but that's my fair. Special, I, i've never been able to do vip because of the, my mo- money issues and i would love there. to if we had the money because i there is a chance where i do want to talk to like i've even sent out messages to the guys this was like a couple of months ago thanking them for helping me and like literally saving me because their messages on stage though like really help yeah I understand completely about the money issue I was there during high school too with money and yeah. taking time off of school which my parents forbid it but um <laughs> I understand completely but I do hope with their next coming up tours in the next year that you'll be able to afford a VIP yeah. to meet them and stuff and just mm-hmm. to thank them so yeah so I'm actually I really want Andy to see something that I made in my shop so because we have a laser engraver so I ended up making the um, shadow side oh. and laser engraving it as a project. And I actually ended up getting it. And now it's like, it's right here. Whoa, that's amazing. So <laughs> holy crap. If you at all do customs, let me know. Cause I'm going to have to get me all something, something. I can. I also make stickers. Um, I'm actually really good with the vinyl cutter so i ended up making black book rides stickers and like just other band stickers yeah and i put them inside of t- in like tombstones and we put them on his car for halloween these would be stickers on tombstone um where do i send my money <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> and we're actually we're actually planning on starting a sticker business because of the vinyl skills that both him and i have because when he was in the shop too that's what he focused on too was vinyl we are starting a sticker business but you can kind of see it with this but it looks really cool i love the tombstones and i'm I'm guessing that the logos are on them yep okay they're inside sweet oh i need one of bbb then for sure yes and i even because i was even messing around this is on my door but like i even did the lyrics inside of it Nice. nice. See, 16 instruments, stickers, your freaking, what would you say? Was that wood burning that you did right there for the shadow It's laser engraving. Laser. Holy so, crap, right? Uh, you are, these are talented. More stickers. Nice. I mean, just to see those and just how, boy, in my mind here, how talented and skilled you are over here, young lady. <laughs> that's, that's all. Um, I actually had to make them on a software called AutoCAD. So I made them all on AutoCAD. I turned them into a file. They go onto our computer for the vinyl cutter, and that's how everything gets printed. That's how I got the stickers printed. I mean, you stay busy, though. I like it. Yes. Yeah. Our next question is, when it comes to BVB's war paint, which one is your favorite? <laughs> Probably Rebel Love Song one. Ooh. That one just does it for me. So I, I just like all the 
everything in it. Am I a makeup guru? No. Can I do makeup to save my life? No. I've attempted it and it made me look like an emo raccoon. And that's how my nickname came by my, my friends, emo raccoon. Because <laughs> I tried. And it I didn't love work. that emo raccoon. I love that. <laughs> that's what my friend calls me. <laughs> Uh, which which band member in particular, when it comes to River Love Song, do you just love their makeup? <laughs> it probably was Andy because it's yeah. just like it's messy, but not mm-hmm. messy. Talk to Nicole. It, That's yeah. her favorite era, right there. Oh my god! Well, because like once again, screams like that eighties glam. So <laughs> I, I definitely get what you're talking about with the war paint. It's like perfect, yet at the same time, it almost looks smeared and dirty, but it's not. Like it's just, it's very grungy mm-hmm. looking. Yeah. yeah, that's a good word. Grungy. Oh, well. Out of all the Black Veil Bride eras, do you have a specific favorite? Random Tomorrow petition for Andy. Bring back the blonde. Please. I remember that. The blonde hair. I remember that. <laughs> Petition on, to bring it back. End our intermission. Back to the Black Veil Brides era. Your favorite, you said, was the Phantom Tomorrow era? Yes, please. Petition for Andy to bring back the blonde. <laughs> the vampiric blonde. I don't get vampiric. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, thank you. I don't either, but like that's apparently what everyone claims everyone that it was very like, oh, it's vampire with the blonde hair and the outfit. He doesn't I'm even like... look vampire. He just looks like a normal I'm like, person. I'm like, are they getting vampiric because of Twilight? Because I'm like, I, I don't, I don't see it. I no, no. I just get Billy Idol vibes. That's thank all you. Same. <laughs> no, the Phantom Tomorrow is definitely a good era. I mean, I love the color scheme for one. So, <laughs> yeah, she would. The red is the red's beautiful. The red, red's very yeah. beautiful. I've been waiting years for them to do a red era, and I'm like, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, my only question is, why was the purple era so short? Short lived. I know. COVID. Yeah, that could be true. <laughs> you know, I didn't That's even. Just- think about that it could be honestly Damn. Damn. <laughs> what were you gonna was, say though, though? <laughs> oh i was just gonna say with the whole phantom tomorrow being the red era and stuff which whatever new album they're working on i wonder if like mm-hmm. what era that that's gonna be what the color scheme is going to be are they gonna go well dark? the morning was black are and they white. going to go like full-on black mold just for nicole <laughs> 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 Uh, you know i like how you um said that like their ep the morning ep era was black and white that yeah i definitely get a chromatic yeah yes better term for it yeah artist art term art term (laughs) next question is how has been your experience with the bbb army so far really actually really good so i i cover a lot of the like the new england massachusetts tours for the street team yeah yeah i've heard of that uh is it a yeah is it, i don't i think the first time i've heard about that i guess group was through snapchat i don't know if it's still a thing on snapchat yeah it is oh okay i just i don't use snapchat anymore <laughs> <laughs> yeah but that's I. so i do that i did the thing with cassidy which oh she was like open armed in it she was like we can do we don't have to dance and i'm like well i was thinking of like a little better but do it because it actually the the score that I sent them actually had the different parts oh. at first we we're going to do a duo but then she looks and it was like it was like a five flute type deal and she like got in researched to Bellamy and then she joined and so we ended up being a trio but at first it was going to be a duet but then I'm like I really like overture because I actually ended up doing that for an open mic night Ooh. at my school and I played overture on my flute I don't talk to much people in general, but I know I'm pretty good, kind of good friends with Ian too. <laughs> Goofball. Oh yeah, he's he's uh, something already. <laughs> I just call him Goofball because he's a goofball. <laughs> he really is. But he's probably been like one of the most like people that's been supporting everything. Well, that's good. And Nicole too, because like she, like when she followed me, I was I ended up actually screeching. <laughs> Oh, 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 you know. oh stop. <laughs> I, not when it was, it was a while ago, but <laughs> and then like, I've, I mean, I've always like, just kind of followed Ruth too, like on TikTok and stuff. When I had my old account, my old account ended up getting banned for some oh. dumb reason, but then I followed you on my new account too, but. <laughs> Honestly, I, 
truth be told, I've been lacking on the notifications on TikTok. TikTok has been updating so much. It was just like they changed that the layout. And I'm just like, wait, notifications are here now. Now I have to click an extra button just to get to notifications. I'm like, I get yeah. I mean, just- the experience with the BVB Army is different for everyone. But yeah. I think the good the really good part about it is despite everyone's experience being different, it just seems to have one connection is that everyone has a really great time with everyone. Everyone is always so polite and so kind and caring and supportive to others, which is something so huge in the army. Yes. Yeah, definitely. People in like the rock community are like really nice sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. I mean, it goes with every fandom that we have those bad nuts in those groups. So I'm happy you haven't come across any of those bad nuts. So, but it's all good and sweet and lovable and stuff so (laughs) well we are here at the end of our questions um we just have one more for you and that's actually if you have any questions for ruth and i and they don't have to be black little brides related by any means nope i don't really think i have any questions for you guys it's fine sometimes we just don't sometimes we do we're like it's just in case if there's anything you guys have had on your mind that you need answered (laughs) or if you want us to get our own opinions about something like black licorice Mm -hmm. and licorice (laughs) Mm -hmm. to which one answer correctly (laughs) red licorice black licorice makes me want to throw up you for being human (laughs) black licorice is delicioso what are you guys talking about do you it's, not see me puke? <laughs> do you not see me noms noms? Fresh. <laughs> so you, so you like the red licorice. Like red vines, right? Red vines are okay. I just can't do Twizzlers. Yeah, Twizzlers. I have like, uh. but I have huge Twizzlers. I have packages of huge Twizzlers. Oh my gosh. I approve. <laughs> I approve. She would. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay hey i mean nicole you have certain members from the bbbr uh bbb not army bbb in your silo comes to black licorice so any red licorice lovers i need to grab them so <laughs> well you have jocelyn so <laughs> BBB Army, we are here with another fan shout out. So before I try to pronounce this fan, I want to apologize for butchering your beautiful name. I do apologize for butchering it, but today's fan shout out goes to Stasia? Question mark. <laughs> I'm hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, I do apologize. I do apologize. But she is a wonderful fan. She's been a big fan of Black Phil Bride. She lives in Idaho. And surprisingly, I don't know how I have come across her yet in concerts. We're kind of, we're neighbors. We're neighboring states. Anyway, but she's super beautiful and she's such a loyal fan to Black Phil Bride. She did a huge shout out when Wretched Divine turned 10. She recently just got tattoos of uh, Jinx and someone else. I want to say Jake's autograph or Cece's autograph on her arm. She was super thrilled about that. She supports every band member. She ordered one of CC's bandanas on his website and she just <laughs> loves them so much and she supports them and she also supports the army too. So definitely a fan shout out goes to you. Thank you just for being an awesome fan for Blackville Brides. Is there any last words you would like to say, Jocelyn, before we wrap up? This can be to the army, to BVB, or if you're good, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I don't think so. But also when kind of going back on the food, the trio but when chris andy's dad ended up seeing it i'm like oh so someone that i should look up to seen it (laughs) chris is very supportive of every single fan i think nicole and i have mentioned this how many times i don't even know at this point he is bbb dad he definitely shines a light to all fans that support the band so much like he seriously does way too much for every single fan, I swear. I don't know how you do it, Chris, honestly. <laughs> he, you know, and that's the thing with Chris too, as Ruth just said, the fact that he's so super supportive. I mean, anything that you do for Blackville Brides, I mean, he enjoys seeing those kinds of stuff. He truly does love and enjoy when fans um, tag him in the things that they create and do for Blackville Brides. So don't at all like feel scared to do that like don't think you're annoying him you're not annoying him he loves <laughs> it because we thought we were annoying him the first time around every time i we know, talking, I'm like, I know. We gotta stop. We're annoying 
totally him. <laughs> no, he's super supportive. It's like when you get your sticker business up and going to make like your Black Love Rights uh, stickers, I'm pretty sure if you tag him and stuff, he's I mean, just supporting and sharing it. So, yeah. All right, BBB Army. Thank you so much for tuning in to hear Jocelyn's story. Jocelyn, thank you so much for sharing your fan story today. We absolutely appreciate it. We loved hearing it. For anyone that doesn't know, we are officially on TikTok. So you can officially go, you can give us a follow or not. It's up to you. You don't have to, but we kind of do post a little bit of like snippets and some sneak peeks. If y'all want to go check it out, we are officially on all streaming platforms. And once again, uh, the fan forums coming soon, you guys. So keep an eye out for those. We will make an announcement when they are posted and up. we'll make an announcement. Yeah, I know, right? When they are posted and up and ready for you guys to fill out again. So until next time, bye, BBB Army. Bye. We'll see you next week. We have a lot of pettiness to release next week. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah.